One of the worst and most embarrassing defeats for the United States in its history was the Battle of the Little Bighorn in June 25th, 1876, which is also known as Custer's Last Stand. The battle took place on the Little Bighorn River in the Montana Territory. In this video, I will explore the battle, the events leading up to the battle, and the significance of the battle. The battle was between U.S. Federal troops and the Northern Plains Indians, composed of the Lakota Sioux, Northern Cheyenne, and some of the Arafo and Comanche. The Federal troops were led by George A. Custer, while the Native Americans were led by the famous Sitting Bull. The Battle of Little Bighorn is remembered for three main reasons. First, it was Custer's last stand where he and 210 soldiers all fought to the death. Second, it marks the pinnacle of the Native American resistance against the United States. And third, it represents Custer's major blunder in attacking the fortified camp and issuing bad military orders. The Battle of Little Bighorn is characteristic of the United States confusing brutal and dysfunctional policy towards the Native Americans. In 1868, the Native Americans in the United States entered into the Second Treaty of Fort Laramie, which allowed the Sioux and Arafo Indians exclusive possession of the Dakota Territory west of the Missouri River. However, U.S. settlements put at risk this tentative peace by settling in this area in search of gold. The Lakota Native Americans were unwilling to sell and be forced into another disadvantageous treaty. In an act of bad faith, the United States broke off their treaty of 1868 and issued an order that all Indians be forced into designated reservations as to accommodate the settlers. Any refusing Native Americans would be deemed hostile. Prelude to the Battle the stage had been set for yet another hostile confrontation between the United States and Native Americans. The Native Americans, including bands of Lakota and Northern Cheyenne, formed a resistance and united under the charismatic leadership of Sitting Bull, who called for a rebellion against U.S. expansion. The rebelling Native Americans met at the rendezvous point at Little Bighorn River in southern Montana. They planned to also celebrate the annual Sundance ceremony. In spring, 1876, Lieutenant General Philip Sheridan ordered that three army columns converge on Lakota country in order to subjugate the rebels, led by Alfred H. Terry and Colonel John Gibbon. Alfred Terry's column was composed mostly of the U.S. 7th Cavalry Division under George Custer. Terry wanted Custer to attack the Lakota from the south, forcing them into smaller forces that would push them up the Little Bighorn River the battle. However, on the morning of June 25th, 1876, Custer's scouts discovered Sitting Bull's village. They also saw a band of stray native warriors that they assumed would go back and tell the camp that Custer planned to attack. At this pivotal moment in history, Custer decided to launch an all-out attack. Custer split his battalions into three companies under Major Reno, who was the, to attack the village directly Captain Frederick Benteen, who was to cut off retreat from the south, and himself, who was to attack the village from the north. By separating his force, Custer made a massive blunder because each group was unable to meet with each other or provide support to each other. As the military engagement unfolded, Custer and the 7th Cavalry fell victim to a series of surprises, most notably the number of Sioux troops they actually encountered. According to their intelligence, there were only 800 warriors. However, the 7th Cavalry were fatally surprised to be facing 2,000 experienced Sioux and Cheyenne warriors. Custer's 210 soldiers were cut off from the rest of the forces and were all killed in a fight that lasts roughly two hours. This fight became known as Custer's Last Stand. The only column to survive from the initial three was Reno's battalion, which had been reinforced by the remnants of Benteen's contingent. The actual movements and logistics of the battle are shrouded in mystery and have been highly hypothesized. 
However, one figure that has been celebrated for their courage is Crazy Horse, Sitting Bull, and the other Indian leaders. Conclusion Along with Native American legends such as Tecumseh, the last stand of Sitting Bull against Custer's 7th Cavalry went down in history as one of the Native Americans' greatest moments and finest hours. Though it proved to be the pinnacle of Native American resistance, it has been an event that is highly idealized and revered, especially as a symbol of resistance by an oppressed group in the face of overwhelming odds.